What's going on my fellow dongs and today I decided to do a different video today So Mario Maker 2 finally got an update like a month ago And we are probably gonna get DLC for the game and maybe new game styles Which means it said extra game styles which is which had an S which is Pearl It's likely mean that we're getting new game styles So I'm gonna go ahead and actually make a tier list based on which games are likely and which ones are unlikely So here we go, let's just start off uh, I guess this is going in from the list. Uh, first off, we'll do Super Mario Galaxy. This is going to go in the A tier. Not, I feel like that this one is extremely likely to join also Galaxy 2. We'll put both of them in A tier. But I think they'll just put one of these as anything just original Galaxy. Since they're technically... Galaxy 1 and 2 are the technically the same games. So I think this is likely that we're at least going to get Galaxy in the game. Super Mario 3D Land, unfortunately, is going to go in the F tier. It's not only because that, um, like, like, it's basically 3D World, like, but in handheld, and there's barely, and there's barely any new stuff in 3D Land that's already in 3D World in the game, so this one is extremely unlikely. And also, Super Mario All-Stars is also gonna go in the F. It's basically the same games of Mario Bros, Mario 3, and I guess Mario, we'll get to that one in a bit. And then also, I guess, the other one, but again, it's just that... The, they would have to work on the, the the sprites and what Mario looks like, but I don't think they're going to go back that far. And they've never really referenced Mario All-Stars at all, ever since they poured on the Wii. Next up we have is Super Mario Bros. 2. This is going to go in the B tier. This game is extremely different to the other Mario games, because it's a really... Because it, it was popular in Japan, but it was titled differently, so I don't know how... Like, uh, again, it probably wouldn't be that hard to really implement since there's already, like, three characters, not Peach, and there's already, like, three characters already in the game, but Peach is not in the game. I mean, Peach is not in Mario Maker 2 as a playable character, and she's in Mario 2, but I guess it wouldn't be that hard, but I don't even know what the backgrounds will be, but there's already enough backgrounds in the game, if anything, but each one is going to have all the backgrounds, so I can't tell what a ghost house or a castle would look like, but, oh, hey, you never know. Super Paper Mario, unfortunately, this is going to go in the C tier. Maybe it's because Nintendo wants us to forget about this game, and I feel like this is one of the most underrated Mario games ever, and it would be so strange to port this in, and people would not probably either completely forgot this game existed, or it's just that nobody would know what this is, because a lot of people never play it. I personally played it myself, and I love it, so... I don't know. It would be really cool to see Super Paper Mario in the game, and there's already a lot of backgrounds in the Paper Mario games, but I don't know if they would take from those liberties, but that's the only thing I can really think of if they would port Paper Mario in the 2D area, so it's not impossible, but probably unlikely, but we'll see. Next up we have is, okay, I'm going to put all th three of these ones, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, New Super Mario Bros. DS, and New Super Mario Bros. 2. All in the F tier. Not only is because that they're all pretty much like Mario U, just different graphics and they have different powers and they play differently. But it's just that it's I don't know. It's really weird that <laughs> they're just basically the same games. It's really nothing different, and there's barely nothing. They will never add something that's almost exactly the same. So yeah, extremely unlike, extremely. Unlikely. Maybe they could add these one of these power-ups, like the shell power-up, or maybe something with the gold, but I don't think Nintendo would take anything from a game like this, so who knows. Next up we have is Super Mario Odyssey. Yeah, we're already going to that. This is going to go in the C tier. Okay, maybe B tier. Maybe B tier, yeah. Not only because I feel like Nintendo... I don't know if Nintendo's really done with Odyssey, but... I don't know how it would be pretty cool to put Odyssey in the in Mario Maker, but I feel like it's a little too early for that now, and I really don't think so. And I think Nintendo is gonna prepare for Odyssey 2 someday, so yeah. Alright, next up we have is Super Mario Sunshine. This might sound ridiculous, but I'm gonna put this in A tier or S tier. Um, not only is because that the game style, okay, the game styles are like like there's 3D world in the game, so anything can happen at this rate. So I, I really hope that we could actually get Sunshine. It would be so cool to really see that. They would have to put a lot of work into it, but I think this is likely. Next up is Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. This, unfortunately, is going to just go in D tier. This isn't even really a Mario game, but it kind of is. But Yoshi's up in the game. You don't play as Mario. I really don't see them, how they could really... Because this is already Yoshi's in the game, but it is one of the best 2D platformers on the SNES, so... 
Maybe they could take something with this, but again, I'm not giving my hopes up that this will happen. Next up we have is Super Mario 64. This, unfortunately, this might be a little too low, but I'm going to put this in C tier. I feel like that if if Nintendo celebrating most of these Mario games, some, Mario 64 would be seen out of place, but again, I don't know how the liberties will work, and I feel like a lot of little kids never really play, or they're not really that good at the game, or they never played it, so this one, I don't know how likely it would be. Next up, we have a Super Mario Land. Uh, this is going to go S tier. And Mario Land 2, we'll just talk about Mario Land. I feel like, Mar no, there's already a power-up in Mario Land, so that kind of decreases his chances of getting in. And just because of the flower, though, hmm. Let's put an A tier, actually. <laughs> but I feel like that it, it still could be possible. Like, I feel like they could still use as a power-up in some liberties, but I don't know if they're all just going to be 3D games it could literally be any of them honestly so yeah next up we have is in the final game super mario land 2 uh six golden coins this is gonna go in s tier this plays like mario world a little bit but it's differently there's different power-ups and enemies and stuff i feel like this would be so cool to put them in and since there's really not any mario land 2 references in the game i feel like that this one seems likely but this is a very 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 underrated game though so i don't know how likely it'll be but yeah, that's going to be it for uh, this video. I decided to do a little bit differently and make some tier list videos. And maybe if you guys want to see more like ranking videos or something like this, just let me know and I would love to do these again. Maybe something better than just me doing gaming videos and stuff. So yeah, thank you guys for watching uh, this, this tier list video. Which Mario game do you think is likely to join in, in Mario Maker 2? Only time will tell, but we are going to hopefully get some new styles. Alright, bye guys.